What you are about to see is inspired and clipped by true live streams. According to the FBI, there are an estimated one to two. We watched a movie live streams on YouTube each week. On the night of this live stream, Mike and Jay discussed much more than what you will find in this video. There was horrible and yet hilarious things said, like that time where Jay said, bleep, and Mike was all like, and Jay said, the macabre conversations that took place on that night are still not entirely known. Unless you watch the full recording of the We Watched a Movie live stream posted in the pinned comment below. And be sure to catch the next one live to chat and hang out with those sexy men. Or else this stranger style opening will become much more than a parody. Slats. All right. I know what you did last summer. Where does it rank as a franchise? Oh. So you got the oh, first God. one, you got the second one, you got the third one, and you have a TV show. Fuck that. I, oh, man. I would, dude, I would go between pretty rad and fuckable because listen, the first movie does suck, but it is, it is a time capsule of good times. The second movie is actually pretty fucking good. The third movie is a piece of hot shit and the TV series, who gives a fuck? See, I, I think that I know what you did last summer is like when it came out, you thought it was cool, but it's like remembering things when you were a kid, like when I did that, that was cool. But then when someone tells you what you did, you actually are embarrassed by it. <laughs> so I, yeah. feel like that, I feel like I, I put it in fuckable, but that's what I mean. I, I'm gonna tell. All right, we'll tell. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm. I'll, let's do fuckable. I'm gonna go with yours on this one because I'm. I'm kind of in between. We'll go with fuckable for that one. Uh, this, this now I don't have a lot of two movie franchise in here, but I fucked up. I put this in the thumbnail, so we got to do the strangers, even though it's only two movies. There's three more coming okay, out. Let's go ahead and stroke Damien Mafia's dick a little bit. Okay, I know that's what he wants. Mafia, <laughs> I five. need it. Uh, I would put honestly the strangers as a like a, like an overall series, um, because we did like the second one pretty like pretty well. Um, I, I know this is going to be controversial, but I would put it almost such as the sun. I think it's one of those kind of movies that's very unique. It's very different. It's very mean spirited, meaning that it's not like you, you didn't see a movie like this in a lot of, a lot of the times. Like it just, there's no central plot about why they're doing it. They're just doing it to fuck with people because they like to hurt people. That's yeah. kind of scary as fuck. Cause that could happen in real life. The last night yeah. out there. I would, I would like the, my natural inclination is to say just, you know pretty rad but like honest to god though there's only two movies and they're both special in their own right the first I, one i felt but i don't want to get get carried away with the feeling i said it's it's gonna be controversial though no yeah no i'm actually with you though because like my natural inclination is to do pretty rad but the first one was really good in its own right being super serious and super slow burn and really fucked up and then the second one is a completely different movie mm -hmm. and it still kind of kicks ass so i'm happy to be happy and gay with father and i and let's put in almost such as the sun okay I'm I can't wait to read the comments because they're all going to be supportive. <laughs> How about Paranormal Activity as a franchise? Pretty rad. No, man, I got to be honest with you now. I got to be honest Think with about you it now. Because the first three, it. the first three are really good. The marked ones is actually really good too. The third one, actually, by the way, Paranormal Activity three, uh, it's all right. The second, the first two are really good. Uh, but well, three also, they, it really, it did have the really cool thing with the old lady cult. That was scary yeah. as fuck. And then, yeah, that was good. The marked ones was surprisingly good. And yep. that came out of nowhere. Ghost Dimension, Ghost Dimension, sucked. Dimension Ghost sucked. sucked bad. Uh, yeah. The fourth one was forgettable. Uh, I would say, mm -hmm. get in there, you little dirty bitch. There you go. 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 And by the Not way, dirty to me. I've always had it really bad for fucking Kate from the first two movies. She's really, she's cute. And Micah, Micah's a fucking dick. I hope that guy gets killed by a fucking Dyson vacuum up his butt. I hope, I hope he gets killed by his possessed fiance. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, Scream, the Scream franchise. Sucks There's my no. Butt. You oh we are down in the fucking toilet, oh, Steve. I'm gonna fucking come over to your house tonight <laughs> and I'm gonna rub your dick in honey and then put you outside where a bear can see. I it. can't wait because I've been wanting that. <laughs> uh, okay, I well, mean, you obviously like I can have my disagreements on Scream all day long. I think Scream One was incredible, Scream Two was decent, Scream Three sucked balls, Scream Four I didn't like, Scream Five was decent, Scream Six was okay. I'll put it in an all timer just because of what it did for the horror franchise in the 90s. Yeah, you fucking will. How about that? How about that shit, Jay? You don't even like it. You I don't even know listen, it's an all timer. Listen, I have no problem. Name. I can put respect on the fucking name just like you need to put respect on LeBron, you piece of shit. It's, it says right here. It says right here. Jay thinks Scream is an all timer franchise. And the book is closed. I, Suck my fucking butt. You no, know now no, I take it back. I don't know. No, it's too late. No, nope, nope. nope. all... you yep, looked into the abyss and it looked back. No, you I love Scream. So. I, You've always I, loved it. It's your favorite. I think what happens on this boat, it happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to be mad enough to say on this boat. No.
But okay, but you gotta be like really though. I think the the franchise for what the first movie did by itself is worthy enough of all time. You fucking love Scream. I, I, it's the first one you cock me. <laughs> <laughs> How about the Saw franchise? Uh, man, that's a weird one because here's that's, the thing about Saw. Yeah, there are moments in Saw that it's so weird because it's the it's like the sequel after the sequel that was the sequel before that was a prequel is actually really good. It's like a weird, like it's it's so like off and on like good movie bad movie good good bad bad good 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 maybe weird, like, <laughs> i would yeah. play, I, but i gotta be fair i'll put it at pretty rad i am fucking dude we're 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 hand in hand jerking each other tonight mm -hmm. I, I i'm right there with you because like look the first movie is fucking great like it yep. was great uh, amazing uh the second movie was like uh this is still fun uh yeah. the third movie was like this shit's getting really gross but i'm still watching and the story's getting kind of dumb and after that it's like it's like a fucking inflatable arm two man it's just like yeah. all over the goddamn place like there's some good shit here there's some awful shit here why did we kill him what the fuck is going on yeah the and then it got really shitty and now all of a sudden it's back it's like this franchise is a fucking ekg that would they, they your doctors would keep yeah. you overnight for well i feel like i feel before. like saul was like one of the best when i first like the, when i first saw the movie the first one and i and i had no I hadn't even seen a trailer for it. I just watched it, and it was like raw, raw dog in it. And when yeah. he stands up, and that music hits, and it was fucking incredible. I was like, man, this is gonna be the greatest series of all time. And then it got slowly watered. That's like being married. After a while, the sex just isn't as good. Yeah, I, you know? dude, I'm actually, I'm starting to fucking speaking of being married. I'm starting to get cold feet. I kind of feel wrong about this. I feel wrong about. I thought we put that. Rad. We'll put that to a vote. I know where they're gonna vote. Let's, it. let's just let's, put it to a vote. Let's put it to a vote because I feel like I can also put it in almost touches the sun. So we'll have our first vote tonight. We'll let you guys decide where Saul goes because I feel dirty, like a dirty toe jam. Um, I feel like you're. you're I feel like I feel like it's called a uh, pussylitis. It's oh, so it it's on the back of my neck. Actually, yeah, it's you like, got that pussy like, juice. I, I, I got pussylitis. Shut up, fucking whore! I'll come over there. And <laughs> <put> <laughs> I was going to say something absolutely so disgusting. I couldn't even say it out loud. I, you should have um, completed it. I wanted I'll, to hear it. I'll show you later. Uh, so this is a picture of Alien Covenant. But yeah, this you could have picked a is, better one. <laughs> this is the whole Alien franchise, right? So the whole Alien all -timer, franchise. All-timer. I don't want to talk about it. Stinky butt McGregor's. Um, Alien. Aliens. Yes. That, alien that's, all, that's all they need. That's all they need. Alien, alien 3 sucks. Four, alien Resurrection no. is awful. Uh, you like the other one. Covenant, I liked. I'll tell you, and then what's coming? Rembrandt, Alien, Rembrandt. What's it called? Renegade. What's the new one? <laughs> what's the new one? Because I'm a motherfucking Renegade. <laughs> oh, Alien. That sounds cool though. Alien, Renegade. That sounds badass. They what's actually the should do that. It's uh, Romulus. Romulus. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm named. You named it after a fucking Star Trek planet. Good job. <laughs> uh, anyway, you're 100 right. Alien, based on the first two movies alone. Now, if 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 Prometheus actually was fucking awful and Co covenant was really awful then maybe you'd have to think about almost touches the sun but i think they were both good enough to keep this franchise super important super awesome and well, yeah, the first two movies are all timers so yeah how about the child's play franchise oh, no. he's cody leach around here sorry around. jack chucky's back now i use the picture from child's play too but this is the whole franchise oh, I, this is tough we're gonna get in I, trouble it's not, i don't care dude like listen i like cody leach he's a good guy but i mean at the end of the day it's gonna be in pretty rad okay uh, he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do drugs. I'm okay. Mr. Garrison. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm 100 with you, dude. I think it's pretty rad. Uh, at best, it's pretty rad. Like, I, it's too iconic to go fuckable with. But like, some of the content of those movies is fuckable it, or below. It's for a, sure. Yeah, it's a fun time. It's like going over and hanging out with your friend that never got married and doesn't have any kids and just like chills out and plays Nintendo still, and you hang out with him for a while, but you know that you would never really want to live that life. <laughs> yeah and again i mean Chuck i'm not talking about me i know i feel like i'm projecting right now because i do all those things except i'm married <laughs> like dude i i think that like chucky as, as on his own forget the franchise and everything that comes with it like people love chucky and i understand that but like he's honestly not scary at all not like dude. fuck that uh, little fucker like i would I, punt him to the moon and back i'm kind of like pat fucking mcafee uh <laughs> all right jaws the franchise of jaws this is Jay and I have never been great big Jaws people. We appreciate yeah. Jaws. The like my sequels, ex wife's vagina. That's what it was nicknamed. It's tough, though, dude. There's some good sequels. There's some bad ones. Really, there's say, Jaws, and then there's a couple halfway entertaining sequels, and then a couple bad ones. And that's Jaws, the well, Jaws 1 is classic. Jaws 1, like, I think it did a lot for horror in, in a way that, you know, because you never saw, like, 
I know, like, again, it, it's not like I didn't, I don't live, I didn't grow up near a beach, so it didn't really have the same impact. But, and it was also an older film, it was in the 70s, so it didn't really, I don't know. Um, I put it, I know people are gonna get, they're gonna get fucking mad about this, but I would put it honestly a pretty rad. That's probably what I'd stick it just because, in my, in my tastes, I would not yeah. like it, would not be a go to thing for me to pick. Like, if I, like, I was thinking, like, if Blockbuster Hollywood video were still around, and I'm like, okay, a bunch of people are coming over for a Halloween party, I gotta pick up some movies. I would not pick up Jaws. Right. I actually, I dude, I would actually say Fuckable as a whole franchise. To be oh. honest with you. Well, see, I was just playing it safe. I was like edging it out. <laughs> I ain't that cool little fucked in the head. I was, edging, I was edging my bet. <laughs> Get the rope. Yeah, let's go Fuckable, man. This is some of those sequels are just fucking atrocious. Oh, now we got a fucking banger on our hands. The Evil Dead franchise. Mm. The Evil Dead franchise, dude. They haven't had a bad movie yet. I think this is an all timer for me personally. That looks like my ex wife when they said there's heroin in the back. <laughs> um, that's her holding her new husband's kids. No, that's her holding her boxes of Franzia. Um, <laughs> While she looks at someone doing. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying nothing about kids and shit because I really don't want to. No, I didn't mean you. I didn't mean that. Shut up. Uh, Shut no. up. <laughs> uh, Evil Dead as a whole, it's got to be almost such as the sun. I disagree, you motherfucker. That's an old timer franchise. How dare you fucking smite the name of Evil Dead? I'm not Dead. because okay, but the fact is, Evil Dead, while it's great, Evil Dead One was fucking scary, and I don't. I will fight you to the duel if you say otherwise, because I know people are like that's corny as shit. No, we will walk 15 paces, turn and shoot. If we will duel with each other, if you say <laughs> that shit was scary, but it was corny as fuck too, and I understand, and it didn't make any sense. Then they did Evil Dead Two, which really didn't make sense because Evil Dead One had happened. Then it was a remake. It, it kind of got a weird thing. Army of Darkness, kind of goofy, and it kind of got away from the more grotesque horror that the Evil Dead One introduced. And Evil Dead Two had more of a comedy element to it. Army of Darkness was really just a Saturday morning cartoon with all, with some blood in it. Like it I loved it. Movie. I loved it. No, I loved it, but it was not Evil Dead like what it, what it started out to be. And then you had the Evil Dead uh, Ash versus Evil Dead, which was a continuation of. Uh, pretty much army of darkness and then you have the more serious toned remakes um i would i put it i don't think it's an all i just don't think it broke the mold in a lot of, i think it did great i think they're great movies but i think almost why like, do you hurt me like this steven why you do why this, to do you to me say this why you do this that hurts so bad we will put this one to a vote as far as the last vote goes the Saw franchise you motherfuckers all timer i bet they us. put it all timer didn't they nope they agree with us. Thirty-eight percent say the Saw franchise is pretty rad. We oh, were not nice off beat at all on that one. Uh, nice uh, to see you again, gentlemen and scholars. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, honestly, it goes right next to Chucky, and that actually kind of feels right, doesn't it? Yeah. Don't those feel like fucking best buds? Yeah. Like that mm -hmm. kind of fits. Uh, I'll put it. Let me put a vote on here for Evil Dead. How about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, okay. Francisco? Uh, now listen. It, uh, Listen here, uh, Donnie. I know that you come up here into my shop all the time and you're asking me all these sexual questions. And I ain't always down with the answer, but I think in this particular uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna say it's a it's a sexual timer. I mean, I just I, I gotta put it up there because what it did, Donnie, was it really reinvented a lot of things. I mean, in Texas, everything's bigger. Well, the horror's bigger, and the goddamn chainsaws are huge. The whores? The horse are whores, bigger? Whores are big old fat whores. Yeah, they're big old fat whores. That sounds like a place I want to be. And uh, uh, Texas, Texas knows what I'm talking about. He knows all about that trailer park lot. But here's the thing at the end of the day. Uh, I got to stop doing that because I'll talk about that. But it was, <laughs> it's literally, it's it's a movie. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original movie, is fucking scary as shit today. I, I remember watching it on Blu-ray. I got it on Blu-ray, and I watched it. It's still disturbing. But the, so you know, I, the, here, Texas 2. People like it a lot. I understand. I'm not really a huge fan of it. I understand why people like it, though. Texas 3, uh, it was actually decent. I mean, I, when we went, I think we reviewed that. I did not like Next Generation. I think that was dog shit. Um, but I, I did like the remake. It's incredible. Yeah, dude, it's a timeless It's a timeless horror. I mean, it, 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 it's great, no matter what. Yeah, I, I, I stick it in all-timer, too, because, like, A, the initial movie – uh, I, we saw stuff like it, but we never really saw anything like it. A, it's the most genius horror title of all time. I think it's the best horror 
uh, uh, title for a movie ever. Mm -hmm. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is the coolest fucking horror movie name of all time ever. But the movie actually backed it up, and the poster backed it up, and the main character of Leatherface backed it up. The narrator, the guy that narrates it. Yeah, yeah, John Larroquette or whatever, like Mm -hmm. fucking amazing. I I really dislike Texas Chainsaw Massacre too. Like I think it's annoying as fuck. I think that everybody loves that like chop top and shit. I thought that Mm -hmm. shit was so fucking cringe and bad. Uh, and I'm in the minority on that, but Texas Chainsaw Massacre three was a whatever hey, five by night. Fucking... What you mean, you people? <laughs> what you mean, you people? Huh? <laughs> what? The show. Huh? I agree though. Your yeah. wiener tastes like shit. Thank uh, you. Yeah, I, I. But I, yeah, like, again, guys. Like, I don't think anyone. Well, no, there are going to be people that. So you, let me get this straight. You're gonna have. <laughs> let me gonna, get this straight. Me, so you're gonna have a problem with putting. Um, Evil Dead and all timer, but you're gonna talk about a fat Texan white boy as an all timer. You're racist as fuck. You're racist. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's not like the 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 fucking uh, uh, Evil Dead. Uh, de- and, the Deadites were black. <laughs> well, no, it, it was literally they're all white, from what I remember. Uh, so, as a franchise as a whole, and look, obviously we know the guy who made the first two movies a disgusting piece of sh- first three movies, I guess a disgusting piece of shit, depravable human being. Hope he gets hit by a fucking truck. I don't care. I'll say that the movies themselves, uh, the first two movies I thought were really great. They brought through uh, brought us a whole new horror monster, and they were a great fucking time. And I wish to God they came from somebody else's imagination. But here we are. Three is a fucking abomination. Four is one of the worst goddamn movies. Jeepers Creepers Reborn is one of the worst piece of shits that has ever existed on planet fucking Earth, which tells me personally I would put the entire franchise in... Set! I can't. <laughs> die, die, die. I, I, put, I, I, can't. I, I I'm, I'm not... Like, the first, the, the first two are so good, and the creeper, yeah. the creature is great. I mean, it, it was a cool like idea. I, I you know, even though it's been, it's been surrounded by shit, I'd still put it in fuckable. I mean, I think it's still a fuckable franchise. I think maybe one day if they ever figure out how to work it right, they can make it would move yeah. up the ranks. It's got the potential to be great. Yeah, I'm with you. I, let's go fuckable. I was stuck between pretty rad and fuckable, but honestly, those those three and four are so fucking bad. Yeah, and plus when you give the shit with the director, like it drops it down. But I, I really do love those first two movies. But yeah, we'll stick that one. Fuck. Well, I agree with you, sir. I do. How about mm-hmm. the old Purge franchise? Fuckable. Uh, it's exactly- I, don't, I, I really I don't even need to think about it. Like it was it's kind of fun or whatever. Uh, you know, it's like, yeah, we're going to go to the same fucking routine Halloween party at our friend's house. We're going to do the same fucking Monopoly and fucking cheese. <laughs> and that's it. That's actually what it feels like. Oh, yeah. oh great. Another party at Steve's. No, I enjoyed those. No, movies. it was a great time. But it was like, it's like uh, you know, how do you do? What does it all mean, Basil? It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's the same thing. <laughs> uh, that's how you pump it yourself up. Ah! <laughs> First day on Wall Street. How about uh, VHS as a franchise? They're mm-hmm. still making movies. They're like six movies deep in this, and honestly, like none of them have been terrible. I well, here's the thing: VHS that one story is like I like you. <laughs> that one vampire <laughs> bitch that sucks dick made me pass out, literally faint. Yeah, I fucked you fainted. up. Man. Yeah, that fucking scared me. Uh, VHS for me is pretty rad. I'm gonna I'm gonna go there with you. I'm gonna go there with you. Urban Legend is fucking interesting. All right, fuck you, dude. I like it. Fuck you, dude. I like it. I, I'm the man. Leprechaun. We lost. We super fucking lost. No, <laughs> I'm the leprechaun. <laughs> no, dude. Fuck that, dude. I mean, I would if you. I, I would be fine with fuckable, but I, I hate that fucking movie, dude. I put. Uh, uh, I mean, it's in the toilet. I'm thinking pretty rad. Shoo! I damn. like the first movie, and the second movie's not great. Oh shit! It might be sort of fuckable. Let's put it to a vote. Fuck Here's it. the thing, though. You, I I am not gonna put Urban Legends below or, or like above. I know what you did last summer, and that's a fucking trash fire. But I uh, like Urban I would Legends. Probably take Urban Legends over it. No, no, dude. Because like listen, the first movie's underratedly good. Like it really is underratedly good. The second movie's not awful. The third movie sucks. Fucking donkey dick. But like. I don't know. How about the Insidious franchise, man? Uh, it, well, you listen. Uh, I think in, like, Insidious one was incredible, really good. Insidious two wasn't bad. Liked it. Sorry. I actually yeah. like. I you know I love. I actually did. I think that what carried that movie, not Patrick Wilson. It was Lynn Shay. I think Lynn Shay was so good in all of them, and I really liked that she had 
uh, a, a series of movies where she could shine. She's actually a really good actress. Yeah. I would put this movie. I would be fine with putting it all franchise. Such as the, sun. the whole franchise. Yeah, the whole franchise. Yeah, I would. I because I liked them all. I actually did enjoy all of them. Uh, I would put it at almost such as the sun, but I'd rather. I think it probably fits it pretty rad. But I'd be fine if it was almost such as the sun. I'm 100 percent with you at almost such as the or a, a pretty rad. I love the fucking first movie. One of my favorite mm-hmm. theater experiences of all time. When that Sidious pops up, I was like. Nah! You're like, oh my god, this is actually something, and like I think it's underrated. Like people don't talk about it enough. When Insidious came out, like it did, it, it was, it was. I think horror kind of needed it. It came out not long after Drag Me to Hell, but like it was a really good theater experience. And, yeah. and I'm with like the second one's fine, the third one's aight, and like pretty much the rest of the franchise is like it's aight. But like the first one's so good and the concept's so good. Yeah, I'm gonna stick this one in pretty rad as well, my friend. I yeah, like it's a good, there. it's a good movie. Uh, a, a, another. I know this. They're only two two movies deep, but there was also the little uh, anthology part from the previous one. How about the Terrifier franchise put, as it me, stands it, currently? For me, it's pretty rad. I, we need a third one to maximize it. I'm a, I, I'm a, I'm I'm just I'm not even gonna like I'm think I was thinking like maybe almost such a stunt, but I'm gonna go with you there because like the first Terrifier movie was fine it was like dirty like it made you feel yeah. grimy and nasty but as a movie it did leave a lot to be desired i thought terrifier 2 is one of the best slash movies in ages it's like when heather graham fucked fat bastard in the spy who shagged me it's what made you feel like, <laughs> like yeah but like, like remote control in his ass crack yeah i but i'm dude if terrifier 3 is even above average it would go to almost touches the sun but right now i'm with you pretty rad terrifier yeah we need a third franchise. one we need a third one to figure out where we're at and it's coming just like me later tonight Ooh. on your belly button. Oh. <laughs> this uh, next one's easy. All Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, all-timer. I don't need to talk about it. There's no reason to talk about it. It's Nightmare on Elm Street. All right. Get in your fucking place. I mean, when, You're a classic. When, when, when a fucking horror icon, it's, he's an icon. Like uh, Freddy Krueger is basically the fucking Michael Jackson, uh, Elvis Presley of, yeah. of the horror. That's yeah. what he is. Go to your home. That's where you fucking belong. Well, you're the winner because the audience says 48% says uh, Urban Legends is fuckable. And 30, 27% says it's pretty rad. 26% says sucks my butt, Steve. But it yeah, goes to I, I, Yeah, I was like, I feel like, yeah, because I was like, Urban Legends, if it's above I Know What You Did Last Summer, that makes zero sense to me. I, yeah, I, 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 Just say yes, it makes sense. I'm hitting the half pipe at Killington this week. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, what it is. that's where my head is at with that one. How about Halloween? Oh, shut the fuck up. Put it in all timer. Eat a I deck. Mean, don't you know that we're always going to vote Halloween as the greatest thing of all time? Don't you know that we're fucking slightly biased here? I mean, I know that the commenters say that we are. There's no reason to talk about it, Steve. It's an all-timer franchise. We all know it, and it smells great. All-timer. How about the Blair Witch all-timer. Project? What? It's got to be, all- be all-timer, dude, for what it did. It's You're smoking first- crack, bud. I swear to Christ, dude, the first... The first found footage movie, what it did, it ch- like it scream, it changed everything. It Without that movie, you don't have paranormal movie. activity. You don't have a lot of the. You don't have wreck. You don't have all those movies that came after that. That was a, it was a fucking trailblazer, dude. Exactly. And like and she yeah. and that and that girl I, and that poor girl kept the stop <laughs> bubble on her nose for three minutes. That poor girl, three minutes. This straight. was good. This one's going to a fucking vote, dude. The Blair Witch franchise. That poor girl with her dusty butt had a snot bubble for three minutes. <laughs> all time. What a weird stance there. That poor girl. Um, how about uh here's a picture of my wiener, and I'd like you guys to rate it one to ten. A, a little girl in front of a TV screen, poltergeist. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I should have picked a different movie to make that joke hey, on. That's, that's fine. What, when you say that though, that's, that's fine. When you're having sex with your wife, you're like, "They're here." That's your sperm. <laughs> They're here. <laughs> don't don't come yet. They're here. Uh, okay. Uh, listen. Okay. You know what? Okay. Okay. I, I right. see what's coming right. up. I see what's coming up. Uh, how many spaces we got available for all timers? Like, <laughs> that's the problem. Oh, we got four spaces available for all time. Okay, so I, I you can't like, consider this an all timer, can no, you? No, it's not. Polter, That's a well, franchise. Polter, Poltergeist One is an incredible movie. It, it, That's like, an all timer, no doubt. You no, know, the movie, the movie itself. Yeah, the first one. The second one is really good too. The second one was great. You're gonna die in there. It's like Joe Biden. Like you don't know. Like, it's crazy <laughs> what that guy. You don't know what he's gonna do. Motherfucker trying to eat salad. Poltergeist Three. Uh, I hated it when I first watched it when I was younger. It's not bad when you watch it again. It's not. It's not. It's not great. Poltergeist, yeah. uh, the remake is fucking dog shit. That's one of the worst fucking movies I've ever. How are you gonna have Sam Rockwell and fuck that up? Right. That's yeah. an awful movie. 
Um, but I feel like having said that, Poltergeist one and two are such a strong ass fucking. They're both great. I put it in all timer, man. I can't. I cannot. I can't go there with you, Stephen. I think the first film is an absolute all timer. I think the second film is mid. Personally, I think it's fucking good though. Man. I think the third film is sucks my butt, Steve. Like it's fucking not watching bad. somebody for. Dude, watching somebody in that glass fucking ha- in that glass goddamn um, skyscraper for two hours, going Carol Ann, Carol Ann, Carol Ann, Carol Ann. If it had been Fuck Scott and Nacho, I'd been there a long time ago. <laughs> time ago. <laughs> and the last one was definitely sucks my butt, yeah. Steve. I would say this one's all okay. Fine, I'll, I'll give you. No, you know what? I'll give it to you. I, I don't feel like it, where are you gonna put it. Pretty, I feel like it's almost touch at the sun. Then, like just because the overwhelming power of the first movie. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'll, I'll do almost such a stuff. I'll go there with you. I was thinking pretty rad, but the first film is one of my favorite horror films. Top five horror films of all time, you think? Fuck no. Well, no. I think it's top five horror films it would of all be, time. Well, top five? I don't know, man. Yeah, dude. Like, Ooh. I think that's that's where I'd put the first film. That's how much I love it. Top five. It's a good one. It's a good one. Forever. Hellraiser franchise. Uh, I would put this at, uh, listen, I would put this personally at almost such as the sun. I know that a lot of people wouldn't. <laughs> My name is Earl Seth. This stream is not clean. <laughs> You're right. There's a lot of, there's a lot of unwashed asses in here. Uh, a lot of unwashed asses and, and Dorito smelling fingertips. Yeah, I would put masses. this, I would put this at, listen, I personally think it's almost such as the sun just because the character himself is so unique. Before Pinhead, you'd had Freddy Krueger who came along and he talked and stuff. He was one of the first, but Pinhead did it in a very eloquent type of British way that was like, he seemed reasonable, but then he told you how he was going to rip your asshole apart and then smell your fingers when he does it. I don't know, some weird <laughs> shit. And you're like, I don't know what that means. He's going to suck my ear while he fucking like, takes my wiener off. And you're like, okay. It's like, there's like a BDSM, like sexual, weird, nasty thing to it. Overall, the franchise Hellraiser one was groundbreaking and great. Hellraiser two, all right, but it's kind of weird. Overrated really as fuck. It, well, yeah, I never thought it was good. I never thought it was yeah. like like in, Hellraiser three sucked, but I liked it. It was corny fun. Hellraiser four was bad, but I enjoyed it. Inferno was great. Inferno was exactly what they should have gone with after Hellraiser one. Uh, the sixth one, uh, Bloodseeker or Hellseeker, was okay. The seventh one was awful. Deader and I. I, I think you got to put it pretty rad. That's exactly where I would put it. Pretty rad is the correct place for Hellraiser. And it's crazy, but like, yeah, that's exactly where it should go. Yep. Uh, franchise. There's only two of them that stand out that are good. It's the original one and the one with Reynolds. So yeah, three, everything nine. else in between and after that, it's the Grundle. It's the, it's the taint. It's the taint smell juiciness. It's I don't fuckable. like it. It's fuckable. That's why I feel like it's fuckable. Yeah. Yeah. I do like those movies. And there are, there are some like, Two or three, I can't remember exactly which ones. I'd have to re up myself. There's moments the in those movies are good, but otherwise. But this is the problem with uh, public IP or whatever, like where they can take this franchise and do what they want with it. You've got Amityville in space, Amityville in the Porter Potty, Amityville. Oh my God, it's so big in my butt. Mm. Uh, like there's so many of those movies that you can do that it really waters it down. So yeah. at best, it goes to fuckable just because the original classic, which is a little overrated, to be honest. The cla- uh, the, 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 the original one's good. If, if if they had never made anything after that and it, like and they had really – just said this was based on a true story that would have fucked with people a lot yeah 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 and, and like the, the movie's a little bit overrated like it's not actually as scary as like the world puts it out there the town just, of the please uh but like the there's something about that the amityville that just rings in your ears that like you remember and like yeah. that whole story and again i really think that the platinum dunes around and remake is underrated it's a fun it's, one. It was really good and by the way i will say i'm uh 100 percent relating to the guy in the original one when he's like sitting down there and he's trying to get warm and he's like it's a, that's how it feels when you don't smoke <laughs> checks out actually i imagine that's exactly, that's exactly what, it's what it's like um all right so how about predator the predator Pre- uh, franchise uh, it's it, you know listen predator Ooh, one a fucking juggernaut it's a fucking juggernaut predator yeah. two good it's not bad I, I i remember when i first i didn't like it because it was so different from the original Predator, so I didn't like it, so I didn't give it as much of a chance as I should have. Going back later and watching it, really good. Danny Glover was really good in that. Uh, the, the the newer ones, oh, God, they got worse and worse. Um, I feel like it's pretty rad. Yeah, it's it's tough, dude. So, like you said, one one's top it's fucking juggernaut. all-timer. It's, yeah. uh, all-timer of all-timers. Two is probably pretty rad, you know? Um, 
And then it's like, oh god, well, it was, well, then get, was then fuckable. You, I think. Well, then you get into like the fuckable uh, sucks my butt, Steve situations. Yeah, so yeah. You balance think, it out. I feel like it's a C plus at that point. Yeah, I, I'm thinking pretty rad as yeah. a franchise. Yeah. You think so? I, that's what I'm. That's yeah, what you yeah, said. I, yeah, okay. If it was just Predator, it'd be all timer. If yeah. it was just Predator, it'd be all timer. I'm with you. I'm 100 percent with you for sure. Uh, so yeah, pretty rad. And like, yeah. Look, sucks my butt. Steve's butthole is empty, but I'm gonna, and, and I think we're probably gonna end up going to a vote because Jay's gonna disagree with me on this next one. But I think that this franchise is a fucking atrocious butt. If this is a butt crust stain on the underwear of the universe, the Puppet Master franchise. I think it sucks my butt, Steve. I think it's fucking terrible. You're so uncultured. <laughs> you uncultured swine. You're such an uncultured <laughs> piece of trash. Not one movie I, in this fucking I, franchise I, I, is good. I, I, I can't believe like that you come you come up here with your with your dumb face with your with your razor burned <laughs> neck and and dare say some come words. over and lick it with your saliva. Maybe it'll make it feel. The better. first two puppet masters are eloquent. They're strange. They're weird, and I enjoy. The They're like a VHS Sunday. tape you found in a shitty hotel room. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, I might have found a Gideon Bible in that same hotel room and, and converted. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, I, I Listen, I would never put Puppet Master the series as anything more than fuckable. I think it's fun. It's stupid. It's But I actually enjoyed it better than fucking Chucky because at least they knew they were being dumb on purpose. Like, Chucky, they tried to make it fucking serious. And, and then they, fell and they realized, like, it's a fucking doll, a red-haired... It looked like goddamn carrot top from Vegas running around. <laughs> like it's not going to be that good. So they, they they embraced the stupidity. Puppet Master did that almost right away. The first yeah. one, I will give you, the first one was darker and it was like more serious. It was like then, a softcore porn. Yeah, but then the second one, they're like, yeah, this is fucking dumb, dude. We got Leech Girl, we got Blade, we got Pinhead, <laughs> we got Torture Guy, whatever. It's stupid. I uh, I just for funsies. I put it in fuckable. It's a fun right. fucking franchise. I'm gonna based on what I'm seeing from the audience right here. I'm gonna everyone's saying fuckable. I'm gonna I'm gonna lean towards you. I'm gonna go with you on this one. I'm gonna go to fuckable. Uh, I just like yeah. I just I've I've watched almost all the movies and I've never seen like the idea is always there. Like right like those fucking the, yeah. the there's certain kills that are pretty decent, but I can't tell you a single movie in that franchise that I would actually, if I took a gummy and was just chilling on my couch, be like, I want to watch Puppet Master. Like, I can't think of a single one I, I, I ever want to watch again if I didn't have to. The one you picked up, the 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 the, uh, the cover photo that you used, Puppet two? Master Two. I would I would skip over one. I would go to two and then watch anything and anything after two, two and three so, when they were good guys. I what's like. What's your that. favorite? What's your favorite Puppet Master? It's either it's probably the second or the third one. Like hundred percent. Make a choice. Pick one. Probably the, probably the second one. I don't want to hear. Probably you give me a fucking absolute. I said the second one. Out. You motherfucker. What are you goddamn Why? Morgan and Morgan? Are you gonna I'll sue come, me? I'm gonna come over there and suck your shit. I can't wait. <laughs> How about the Friday Thirteenth franchise? Oh, uh, you know what? It's got to go all time. It's all time. I mean, it's I mean yeah. I mean, we're not really gonna have arguments about it. Yeah. Does the first movie suck? And is it overrated as fuck? Yes. Yep. It's a franchise, but after that, a but after that yeah, they also get create. I mean, dude, you got some of the most iconic kills in in any horror movie uh, throughout that series. You have Kane yeah. Hodder taking over. You have like uh, the, the the James Bond spoof they did yeah. at one point. Yeah, dude, it's a, it's all timer. Uh, Jason Voorhees is a fucking icon. He's he's Mount Rushmore horror. You know what are you mm -hmm. gonna do? And I, I'd say the first movie doesn't suck my butt, Steve. Like it's the not first bad. No, I, I say it's yeah. fuckable. I say it's fuckable. But once you know yeah. the twist, it's over. This one's going to be interesting. How about the Exorcist all -timer. franchise? Oh yeah, well now the franchise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The if franchise, you're talking about the movie, the first up. movie, it's an all timer. I would say. So, okay, so think the, about okay. It. Well, no, I, I I thought about it and I made my decision. Uh, <laughs> the Exorcist one. You got a fast. B -b -b yeah, I, I got a fast brave. Uh, it's as fast <laughs> as my sex. Uh, the first one is classic. It's an all timer. The second one is horseshit garbage. Uh, let's let's see seat. how much we can pump people in the audience to get the back in the seats with minimal effort mm -hmm. they barely filmed anything the third one is great the Probably. third one is as good as the first one in a lot of ways maybe not exactly as good i'd dude, go pretty rad for the third one uh, no i don't know no 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 because brad dwarf was amazing in that movie and also the fucking scissor scene in the hospital is one of the best jump scares of all time yeah sure you better have just calm down. <laughs> it's so funny because I saw your face stop moving. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I and then and then the, the, the later sequel is the beginning. All that was horse shit. Okay, you know what I want? They made the same movie fucking twice. They made the same prequel twice. And I know. Nobody and I, haven't, I, and I haven't watched the new one. I have, I refuse to watch the new one because it looks it's like fucking shit. donkey do. So I listen. And you know what? People are gonna come in here. They're gonna look at our list. They're like, who in the fuck let these morons <laughs> that sniff paint come in and make a list? Because I will put this at pretty rad. Um, that's exactly where I would put it too. That's but it exactly doesn't make any sense because it. it looks because you put the Exorcist, the original cover, and people are gonna say you're you're saying that's pretty rad. Yeah. Well, you know, no one listens to us anyway. So, like, but yeah, no, I know. Like, the first one's the greatest horror movie of all time, in my personal opinion. It is. It's great. Uh, movie the movie second one's one of the worst horror movies of all time. The third one, pretty good fucking detective mm-hmm. movie. I like really it a lot. Like it, like, okay. Four or five are dog fucking cock yeah. shit. Uh, the bum ass one's fucking cock shit. Like I do, I don't know. Actually, like listen, fuck. the first and the third. I don't one, know, dude. First, now I'm getting no, sweaty. No, no dude, I'm the getting first sweaty. Is, no, the, 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 that's just the, the that's just the crabs on your neck. The oh. first and the third one are so good. Yeah, but they, like they, they supernova over yeah. top of the shitty ones. Yeah, but dude, hear me out. Hear me out. Like just the Exorcist alone is so fucking good. I feel like that and the third one. Maybe should push this to almost touch as the sun. Like I, I feel wrong. don't know. I feel wrong about putting this no, in pretty okay, round. You know it doesn't uh, belong next to ask, Chucky. Uh, no, ask chat. Ask chat. Ask uh, chat. I don't ask want to talk about ask chat. Ask chat. All ask right, chat. we'll put it to a vote. We'll let you ask guys chat. decide because we're chat. useless ask anyways. Chat. As far as the Blair Witch franchise, I was going to agree with you. Are you uh, ready yeah, for you're this right. You know what? You know what? Take it. Take it from chat. No. Take it from chat because you know what. Fuck you all. Because if you put, if, no, I don't trust you. Because if you put that below the strangers' paranormal activity and the other, no, 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 we're not playing that game. We're not. Yeah, playing it's got that it. Game. Almost touch the sun. Yeah, we're yeah, yeah, we're Almost not playing that game. Because I was afraid if you guys <laughs> vote it to pretty rad and it's below the strangers and paranormal activity, dude, I cannot have that in my the life. The pure, the pure fucking weight of the original Exorcist movie carries this one. It drags it like fucking Kobe dragging well, somebody, the Lakers. Someone's gonna say, but they're gonna say the why championship. But they're gonna say Predator was the same way. Predator's nowhere. It doesn't fucking hold a candle to the to the horror classicness. It's true. I wouldn't even of I mean, Exorcist. Actually, though. to be fair, I wouldn't put Predator as a horror movie. But that's me. And that's tough. Yeah, that is a tough one too. So, like, yeah, we'll put it on what's such the sun. But you'll be glad that you disagreed with the chat and didn't put that one in their hands, Jay. Because as far as the Blair Witch franchise goes, which you said was an all timer, mm-hmm. the vote says all timer eleven percent. A alt uh, uh, almost touches the sun twenty four percent. Pretty rad thirty two percent. But the winner of the Blair Witch franchise is somewhere I didn't even dare go. The crowd says that the Blair Witch franchise is 33% fuckable. That's where they stick so, that. Here, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you this honestly, <laughs> Chad. You guys are absolutely <laughs> removed from the birthday guest list at Chuck E. Cheese this year. Like, oh, absolutely. dude, it's so dirty to put fucking Blair Witch next to fucking Puppet Master. You guys think it's that fucking bad? Oh my god! So guys, nasty. I want like what happened? Did someone come in and yell at you and make you sick. mad before you voted? And then you're like, "I'm gonna take it out on everybody else." <laughs> this is why this is the best worst show of all time. I can't believe we just did that. It's ridiculous, <laughs> Chad. I am very disappointed in you. <laughs> all right, moving along, moving right along. We got hurry. Oh we got less than a half hour. We got. Fucking, I know, Steve. Got, the Omen franchise. Pretty rad. No, it's fuckable. You know, it's you fuckable. should put more thought into your fucking. No, words. because the first one's good. The first one's awesome. That's it. No, that's not it, Jay. The, the second two sucked. The only good. three was bad. The only two did not suck, Jay. I thought it sucked, dude. Only the only one's decent. a fucking classic. Only three was good with what's his name? Uh, for, uh, the guy from Jurassic Park. Good. Fucking Sam Neill's his name. No, Sam Neill actually wasn't. They do good. move it. Was in bad. It looks like a TV movie. The no, new one, Julia Stiles, bad. The Julie Sal is fucking terrible, but like they'll fall off the hop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the fucking all right, listen. All right, you you didn't see the new one though. That was pretty good. The first album was pretty fucking it. good. What you watch it on? Uh the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I read it at Blockbuster. Yeah. Uh yeah, going dude. through the fucking thing. Like, obviously, the omen's a classic. Richard Donner fucking it's all the diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, dude. Um 
two I thought was actually pretty fucking good because we got to see teenage Damien. Lance Henriksen was in there. Not a bad fucking movie, in my opinion. Three, fucking Sam Neill, adult, pretty fucking good. Four, goddamn abomination against human Christ. What? Against uh, human Christ? Yeah, the remake sucked <laughs> cock a box. And then the, the new one is pretty good. Dude, I think this franchise is pretty rad. Easy. Okay, fine. Easy, pretty I, I, I'll agree with you. I'll agree. Fine. Fuckable. I, I'm fine. I mean, I would say fuckable, but pretty rats fine. I mean, because when they say the omen, the only thing I remember is the first movie. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I, I say, yeah, I think pretty rat is like the definition of this franchise, to be honest with you. Okay, and well, they have a TV a, show, too. That I have to show the, the definition of peeing. I'll be back. I knew you were going to say that. I have to go. I could tell. I, I could fucking go. tell. Go. Go then. Phantasm. Uh, fuckable. <sighs> Yeah, listen, I'm not a huge fan of it. I know that people love it, and there's like there's like a, like a cult following for it. But I I thought that there were moments in the, in the like Phantasm Two is better than the first one, but Phantasm itself overall it's weird. Like I like I've watched the movie several times, and even then I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It's like it's it's as confusing as like they made bad. six of those fucking movies, dude. I know. I think five or six. Yeah, but like the first two are all that like I can really and then it gets too it's weird. As, like it's like, as confusing as P Diddy's sexuality. We don't know <laughs> what's going on with that. I'm going fuckable. You going fuckable? Mm-hmm. I do. I do enjoy it for what it is. I don't is, think it but... sucks. I don't think it's a bad movie. It's just weird. No. You got to be in a yeah. real weird mood to watch it. 100. percent Final Destination. Uh, God, that one, that's listen tough. here. Listen. Listen here, little chitlins. It's Ooh. almost such a the sun situation for me. I think you it's lying great. whore. That I does lied. that franchise I, has like I, I 17 thought, bad. Shut movies. up! I wasn't done yet. I was making a fucking joke. <laughs> I bit pretty rad. Jesus Christ. Oh no, ah, I actually didn't. I actually oh. I could be I, I could be either one. I'm fucking fuckable on this one, I think. No, what? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's pretty uh, Oh shit, fuck. Let's look, let's let's compare it real quick. Like well, okay, well listen, what we, is we, is is it more hang on, hang on. Is it is it more I know what you did last summer or child's play? Child's play, right? It was better than child's play. Yeah, it's right there with child. So Jaws or Saw. That's that's a tough one. Uh Jeepers Creepers or VHS? Is it more Jeepers Creepers or more V it's more Jeepers Creepers, I think, than VHS. But it's better than that. It's better is it's better. It, more the purge, or, it's more the insidious than the purge. Is it more urban legend or terrifier? Probably more. No, this isn't working. By the way, that that fucking cover doesn't that look like they'd be like the newest, hottest, like fucking S Club Seven? Why is he making that face? Oh. I never <laughs> had a dream come true. He looks like the me. day that I met you. David Sawa looks like me getting fucking scabies from the haircut lady today. Hey, yeah, that was a pretty rad. Hey, yeah, I'm getting fucking scabies from the haircut lady today uh we'll put this one Dev, to a vote we Dev can't Sawa looks like he's confused why it's the lunch lady giving him a hand job and not a <laughs> really Clearly uh, yeah, we can't okay. decide I, uh, I yeah i'm in the case I of it, critters, i think it's pretty rad but i could see it being touches the sun I, i'm pretty rad and fuckable i'm somewhere in there but we'll put it to a vote as far as critters goes pretty rad is where you guys land it critters gets high it's good it's a good movie. 30 32 percent good for you guys all yeah, right now how about Final Destination, you guys decide. Um, shut shut this, up. Just shut up. <laughs> the Psycho franchise. Uh, that's, that's pretty rad. It's all-timer. It's all-timer. Oh, God damn it. I'll, I'll, Dude, meet Psycho you touches, I'll meet you at Almost Touches the Sun. Okay, fine. Meet me there. Okay, fine. Okay, meet okay, me at my best friend's we'll, house. We'll, Line we'll up and turn we'll, me out. We'll meet, we'll meet there and have, like, waffles together. How about the Conjuring franchise? I like it. But and I'm talking it, spinoffs included, dude. Conjuring one, two, three. Annabelle, fucking Annabelle, fucking the nun. Yeah, that one, I like that one. Annabelle, Annabelle comes home. I liked it. I know it was dumb, but I liked it for what it was. Uh, the the devil made me do it. No, he didn't. You're a fucking psycho on meth. Um, <laughs> I put it. At, I, I put the Conjuring. I feel like for what it did in the first one, and I feel like that was such a heavy hitter. I feel like it's pretty rad. I am going to take you to vote town, slut, because I think this is fuckable and nothing best. I think The Conjuring is one of the most under overrated fucking horror franchises of all time. But since we're in speed round, Final Destination, you guys vote fast, vote now, vote hard, vote sweet. Almost touches the sun <laughs> is where Hell you yeah, slut put Final Destination. All right, hard drinkers, drink hard. I'm buying. Get I up like there. It. You guys just said Final Destination was better than the Hellraiser franchise, and I just don't okay, know, well, you know how what? Now to that you live said my that, life. It makes me fucking sad, and I don't want anybody. <laughs> how about the Leprechaun franchise? Can we agree on a sucks my butt Steve up Person. in this bitch? Get it in there. 
Get it Overrated in there. Overrated. I don't want to talk fuck. about the only good thing about that was fucking Rachel from Friends. Give me Lucky Charms right into me, fucking Steve's asshole. Go. But you know, the, Go! we're gonna we're gonna piss off. There's probably a leprechaun super fans. Like I own everything. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? There's not a single movie in that franchise that's actually it's awful. Good. Well, All right, like, one, the, yeah, the, they're even entertaining. The, even the first one's like a TNT made for TV. Yeah, like, like, know, like a TNT movie, it was awful. Yeah, it's fucking fine. Like the first one's fuckable. After that, maybe the second one's all right. Maybe Leprechaun in the Hood is fuckable. No, dude. But the rest the of it just drags it down like hands pulling that yep. little girl at the end of the Exorcist movie into the Satan's first one's den. A, it's like a girl dressed up as a fuckable, but she's got like herpes. And so you invited yeah. her anyway to the party, but nobody wants to touch her. Get up, get up, and get down. Or guy, How about whatever. Candyman. Uh, it will be. Uh, the, oh God, dude. Actually, let me take that. Okay, Candyman. The first one's great. a classic. Farewell, it's great. Farewell of the Flesh is pretty good. The mm. third one, mm. uh, not really liking it that much. I, the remake was fucking awful. I hated the remake. Uh, the remake, um, I thought was. I would. I it was. Remake, a lot of was, I was. It's pretty it, but, rad. But there was. It was. Oh, yeah, I'd say it's fuckable at best. I liked it. I would say I put Candyman at pretty rad. Chicago. Samuel Johnson's. I will also stick it in there too. That's fine. That's fine with me. <laughs> he, said, he, said, he said Chicago sudden kissed skin. <laughs> was, yeah. He said you like Chicago sun kissed skin. <laughs> a fucking demon crawl up my butt and maybe say things. <laughs> hey, what's uh, your pleasure, sir? I, 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 I could see considering almost touch the sun, but I will, I'll say pretty red as well. Silent Night, Deadly Night. I mean, I, you know what? I don't know. I don't remember mm. enough about it, so you can play with that game. I'm gonna go. This is the definition of fuckable. Like most of the franchise sucks, but the second movie is like when you wrap the second movie up. That's all you need to watch, and it has the best of all the movies around it. Not terrible. If I have to bump it to sucks by Bud Steve, I will. But I would say Silent Night Deadly Night just because of two is fuckable. But we're fuckables filled up. Fuckable is full. I, know, I, I knew it was gonna happen, dude. I knew it. How about the prophecy? Oh my god, franchise? we got so much more. I do. I, I fucking love this. Movie. We can I, do it. I love Prophecy. Uh, oh. Sorry. God, it feels what? like an optometrist like Christopher Walken's my, my dick hurts. I have to. No, it, it felt like if, if if Christopher Walken was my optometrist, what you just did there, he was like, <laughs> can you see me? Uh, I would say, listen, I, I think Viggo Mortensen as the devil in the first one is, is one of the best performances of Satan ever. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that. Uh, I will say Prophecy 2 is a little slow, but it was decent. Prophecy 3, I liked. Um, I think it's a pretty rad. I think overall I, it's a pretty... I, yes! That's no. I agree, dude. Dude, yep. Christopher, no Christopher Nolan, Toasted ch Chalupa. Can you imagine Nolan um, fucking directing Prophecy fuck, 3? Dude. That'd be crazy. The, dude, the first and the second Prophecy movies, like, yeah. the first one's creepy and fucking weird and kind of slow, but Christopher Walken's bad. And Eric Stoltz is weird in that, too. And Eric Stoltz, and also, like you said, Viggo Mortensen. The second movie is entertaining as fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, the third movie is not bad either. I'll, I'll go pretty rad as well. Does he? Like, oh, he becomes that's a good be guy. On, yeah, he becomes a good guy list. in the third movie. In the third movie, uh, Gabriel becomes a good guy, which yeah. I don't like that. I figure he walking is such a great natural bad guy. Yeah. Like you, they could have just. They probably didn't need sequels to it at all. But anyway. Yeah, and like uh, like, do I think it belongs above Blair Witch? No, but that was your all's choice. So shut up. Um, how about? Um, the Street. bridge franchises. Oh, I listen. I know you. You motherfuckers are. are I, some, there's not a good. There's not a good grudge movie out first there. First off, you all are judgmental, and I don't like it. I feel like it's racist and misogynistic, and there's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of small dick syndrome. <laughs> it's, it's racist. Uh, I feel like that when people say this to me, because it she, terrified me to a maximum level. Do you understand? Uh, but I will say. I will give it to Mike to decide where it goes because yes, oh, I, so glad he said that. I'm afraid of the movie and I understand that because I'm afraid of the movie, I may not have the best judgment because it might not be a good movie, but there, I was so terrified of her that so I, first off, I'm shut the fuck so up. Cause so Sarah Michelle Geller was a godsend in the first movie. I'm so glad you said that. Cause there's not a single good grudge movie on this fucking earth. Get your ass. In Steve's butthole where you belong, you dirty see, spawn of Satan. I'm glad that see that's Mike. Mike, you're gonna get hate on that I one. Care. I use near. let's go. Okay. <laughs> How about let's go. The trilogy. This is tough. Oh, it's yeah. it's the definition of fuckable, we, right? We, ran out, we like, ran out of room. Yeah, it's fuckable. It's a fuckable franchise. But the, I mean, so we, what's it better than? Is it better than any of these? Hold on. Uh, uh Silent Night. Uh, Horror Nights. I'll switch it with Silent Night. 
I'll, I'll, I'll stick Silent Night in the butthole because there's a lot of really bad I don't, movies. I, like, I, I know, and I, I remember enough about, I don't remember a lot, but I remember it's enough forgettable. about that movie, yeah, that I didn't care about it. It's run of the mill as fuck, but yeah. it's definitely not sucky. So, yeah, the Ring franchise, look, the original fucking banger. Every other movie after that fucking sucked dick. The Ring 2 was all right. Yeah, because you got, you got more of a Samara backstory. Here's the thing, though. What people, what, what purists will say, and they'll say the same thing about The Grudge, Ringu and the original uh, the, the original Grudge from J Japan. If you're gonna count it all as one series, no, just the Americans. That's okay. That's... So, okay, so if you're gonna count the U.S. version only, yeah, the Ring One was. I feel like the Ring One was scary, and it was out of nowhere scary, and it was new, and it was different yeah. because that was the first. I think wasn't the Ring that I feel like the Ring was one of the first times a Japanese horror movie had been adapted to American audiences. And I made, don't know, Jay. I'll put it at pretty red. That's it. Fuck it. We have to, but there's no room. So fuck it. We're breaking the rules. You know what? We're breaking all the rules. Let's put Silent Night, Deadly Night back in fucking fuckable. Let's put yeah. fucking the grunt. Let's know. Yeah, like, we got to make these the bigger. Ring. Yeah, I know. Shut up. I'm trying. How about, okay, this one's going to vote for you guys because I've only watched a couple. I, I don't I, remember I, shit, but the, the Howling franchise. Um, but as far as the last vote goes, the Conjuring franchise. Oh my God. I can't believe people actually fucking agree with me. The Conjuring franchise is fuckable. Yes. 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 Jesus yes. Christ. It's like Mike just found out that he had a Fleer basketball card made of himself. God, I hate those fucking movies. The Conjuring franchise is fuckable. Yes. Shut up, bitch. Not you, but Ridiculous. also you. Shut up. Fuckable. Ridiculous. Get in your fucking. Get, get over there next to I know what you did last summer with your bitch ass like you fucking deserve. I, you know what? Jump scare I, popcorn. You know what? I, I, little teenager bullshit. Fucking dick sucking shit. Fuck you're, hard. You're, you better what? just you better just calm it down, little sir. Huh? By the way, I will say Jennifer Love Hewitt is way hotter than Neff Gimble. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. That's debatable. No, no, no. And I know what that... you did last summer, and I know what you did last summer versus Scream. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. It's fucking debatable. Anyway, I have you say... ever seen Wild Things? Yes, I have. But who are you looking at? Her or you, like you know the fucking girl that got fired from Hot what? Topics? Or are you looking what? at fucking Denise Richards? Because I'm looking at Denise Richards. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough choice. Right. It's I mean, I'm. I mean, I'm having a hard time not looking at fucking Kevin Bacon. It's a tough choice. I'm watching it. Well, he was. Uh, you there. know, but Howling one, I remember kind of. But yeah, Howling's a weird. We gotta get on Howling. We gotta get on that because I don't. I don't remember Howling four at all or three. You know, I'm not a big Howling guy. Like the first movie, I never thought was that great. Like I really couldn't get that uh, into people, it. It was people, fine. People jack off to it because of the uh, the transformation scene. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, oh shit, we got to put this one to a vote too because we haven't seen all the Sleepaway Camp movies because we're pieces of shit and we're frauds no. on YouTube. How about the fucking Cloverfield franchise? Man, I, one I badass, amazing. Two. Uh, what okay. was the second one? What was the second one? Uh, was Ten Cloverfield Lane. Oh, that was that was pretty good. Boy, that was pretty good. good. I, yeah, I like that one. Clyde John Goodman. The third one, Donkey Doo Doo. What was that one? The Cloverfield Paradox. Oh God, that was fucking awful. Stinky cut. Like, it came up strong. It came up strong with the first two. Like that was like a great couple of rounds for Mike Tyson, and then he bit some. Yeah, I, I go pretty right. I like it's so it's original because I like the fact that it was an it was America's uh, like attempt to do their own Godzilla movie. Yeah. Yeah, it was fucking awesome. And then, like, the, with the marketing, the way they did the marketing, just barely yeah. telling you anything. Dude, what was it's, a, it's so iconic, though, in the first movie where the fucking Statue of Liberty's head rolls down the street while they're filming. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. And they got TJ Miller as the cameraman. Oh, me. These motherfuckers right here, 0% votes. 0% votes for the Howling franchise for Almost Touches the Sun. 46% of these wonderful penises in this audience say... That sucks my butt, Steve, is where the fucking Halloween. Whoa, wow, man. You guys are going to piss off a lot of purists. Steve's By the way, so you guys know if tonight. you guys are joining in to the stream late or you're joining in after the stream is over and you're just watching this on playback, we did not rank Howling. The audience chat did, and they think it fucking blows asshole. So you guys don't get fucking bad at us. Because people got that dude, there's some werewolf purists that will fucking like riot on <laughs> they will make the January 6th fucking they situation made. look like goddamn boy scouts. Like goddamn quiet bus! Like goddamn <laughs> quiet bus! You got the quiet book about to me. They to be fair, they made a lot of those fucking movies, and I don't know why the first one wasn't even that great. In my opinion, 
the, well, opinion, the first one was all right, but the, 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 here's the thing: what is the best werewolf movie of all time? Silver Bullet. Let's just not talk about it. We're not going to argue disagree about it. With that. You can shut the fuck up. What are you, Jack Nicholson Wolf? The Hunting of a Werewolf in Paris is underwear. No, it's not a good one. An American Werewolf in London is the greatest. No, it's not. No, it's not. I mean, greatest good. werewolf movie. Of it's all a good time. one. I will say it's a great one, but it's not. I don't think it beats Silver Bullet. In my opinion, that's a good question. Actually, that's a good question. But we won't put it to a poll because the last poll of the night's up right now, and that's for Sleepaway Camp. And you guys are going to decide the final little hole to put stuff in on our buns. But as it stands right now, pretty much wrapping this up, we only have three people in Steve's butthole, and that's the Leprechaun franchise, the Grudge franchise, and the Howling franchise. Fuckable is full. Pretty rad is full. Almost touches the sun is 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 a select few. But the only all-timer franchises that we have are Scream, the Alien franchise, the Texas Tunstall Mafia, Evil Dead, a Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, and Friday the 13th. And I think that feels right. Listen, I like our list. I think the list looks balanced. It looks fair. It looks like what Fox claims it is, but it's not. It looks balanced and fair. Three, two, one. The Sleepaway Franchise franchise camp. See, the Sleepaway Camp franchise is. Sucks my butt. Steve gets a fourth member tonight. Oh, wow, man. Evil uh, dies tonight. I can't be. Evil I, dies tonight. That's what the audience says, and that's what the audience gets. Fuck yeah. Okay. We love you, Felissa. You get but in there. the audience says, fuck you. And you're well, a wiener. This is great, but maybe the rest of the franchise left something to uh, be Yeah, designed. I never watched the rest. We watched the first one. Which the first one was kind of, it was okay, but. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Movie, but... Hello, listener. Do you like scary movies? What's your favorite scary movie? Well, Jay and Mike like scary movies, too. You should go and subscribe to their podcast. We watched a movie. Because if you don't, I'll gut you like a... Well, I think you get the idea. Enjoy yourselves while you still can.